Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you're doing well. In this video I'm going to help you get started with modeling in Houdini. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. If you wouldn't mind please leave comment. One like equals one prayer for the YouTube algorithm. Let's get started. We are going to model this object. A brief presentation of what we will do in the next 10 minutes. We will start with two circles, which we will connect to each other, and then we will use the mirror node to get the shell, then with the poly bridge node we will complete the model. So let's start. Add the circle node and set the orientation on the ZX axis. Here we set 78.46, uniform scale set to 0 0.27, divisions 50, and select the open arc option. With the clip node we hide half of the circle, and in the direction parameter, we chose the axis. Add the resample node and set 0.11 to the length parameter. In this way I change the number of points. Add the sort node and change the order of the points, set by X. Add the delete node and we will delete point number 1. Entity, select points. Add the transform node. Here set minus 0.078. Add another transform node, and add the following values. I moved the semicircle forward and rotated it. Add the merge node, and combine these two semicircles. Next, we will add the add node, and we will connect points 13 and 3. Now, we will add the smooth node to make the transition smoother. Here we set 11.5, and here 4. With the resample node we increase the density of points. We add the fuse node to delete the points that are in the same place. Add the smooth node once more, after which we will add the mirror node. Disable this parameter, here set 1 and here 0. Add a mirror node and disable this parameter. And now we will add the merge node to combine these two lines. Add the mirror node with which we complete the shell from the lines. Here we add zero and here minus one. Next add fuse and smooth node to round off some portions. Add smooth node. Strength 12.1. Next we'll create some groups on the edges. Add the clip node and hide part of the case. Here we set 0 and here 1. And we add another clip node. Add the group node and create the group on the line. Group type edges. Add the mirror node and disable this parameter. Here set 1 and here 0. And here we also add the group node and select edges. Add the merge node and combine these two lines. Now we will add the poly bridge node with which we will add polygons between these two lines. Here we select group 1 and here we select group 2 and add the mirror node. Now we will select all these nodes. We will duplicate them and we will do the same actions for the bottom and top part of the object. Here we set 1 and here 0. Select the next node here minus 1 and here 0. For the mirror node, here 1 and here 0. Select the poly bridge node, here we activate, and here we deactivate the reverse winding parameter. For the mirror node we set minus 1 and 0. Add the merge node. Add the fuse and poly doctor node, to avoid some overlapping polygons. Activate the pair overlaps parameter. Next we will deal with the edges, add the poly bridge node. Activate the ignore flat edge parameter. Set the value 81, and distance 0.01. Add the soft and normals node. Soft angle 37.5. Next we will create the holes using the boolean method. We will go up and copy these nodes. Disable the clip and delete nodes, 
we need the circles to be complete. Add the assemble node. With the help of this node, we will add a point in the center of each circle. Activate the parameter create packed geometry. With the split node, we will separate these two points. Add the copy to points node for each point. Add a tube and set the following values. Activate end caps. Radius scale 0.171. Height 0.57. Rows 3. Columns 23. And we connect it here. Add the transform node. Rotate it 90 degrees and connect it to the copy to points node. Add the merge node. Next we will add the boolean node. And we connect in this way. Now we will increase the diameter of the cylinder. Add the Fuse node and Poly Bevel to create the edges. We will return to the Boolean node and activate the AB Seams group. Here we select the AB Seams group, distance 0.015. Add the Soften Normals node. Next, we will manually select some faces and extrude them. Keep the selection in Press tab, look for the Poly Extrude node and add it. Inset 0.01. And we will separate the selection from the rest of the geometry with the Split node. Here we activate the Extrude Front group. And here we select it. Add the Poly Extrude node, set distance 0.015. From here we select edges and we will insert the edges. And add the Poly Bevel node. Distance 0.014. Divisions 4. Add a poly bevel node, activate the ignore flat edge parameter, set the value to 28.7, distance 0.003. Delete these from here. At the end we add the soften normals node. Add the box node. Here we set the value of 0.006 at the transform node and we will move the object to the desired place. Add another transform node and move the object to the opposite side. Add the merge node and the boolean node. And at the end we add the soften normals node. Add the Merge and Null node. I've reached the end, this is the result. If you like you can find more tutorials on my Gumroad page or on ArtStation, the link is below in the description. I hope it was informative, thank you.